The beginning of a season is a great time to jump into a new mode, and if you're starting up my career in NBA, 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And you can feel the anticipation building with the introduction of each player. Stick around. We'll be right back with playoff basketball. This is a do or die situation. Big game five. Always decisive. 2K Sports presents the playoffs of the NBA. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. So with Irving on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. You've got Russell. Baylor is out there with Chris Paul. Then it's Elijah Wan, and it's Pippen, and it's the small forward position. And for the Kings, you've got McAdoo. Frazier is out there with Bryant. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Drexler in at the three, the small four. Take a look at the Nets. You said it before, Greg. Their backs are against the wall. They need a win here tonight. And then two more on top of that. That is a long list. And for a lower seed partner, that's a very difficult task. They can't think down the road, though. They need to stay in the moment, treat this as a one-game series. That's really all you can do. Good advice. A nice shot by Frazier. And Giannis Whoa. treating the defense like a magazine. Easy reading here for him. And so it's Paul with it. Bringing it up for the Knicks. Pass to Elijah Wan. Over McAdoo. And Elijah Wan with the basket on the assist by Paul. Team Elijah Wan. CP3 with that court awareness. It's legendary. Exceptional at realizing when his guys are wide open. Ball against Frazier. Drexler outside. And Bryant wide open. He shoots. Sinks the three-pointer. It's showing the range there. Bryant is confident pulling from deep. And it's Paul penetrating. Pippen with a wide open look. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And that's exactly Scotty what Pippen. he's looking for. Draining the triple. Bryant looking it over. Here's Frazier. And that one hits back iron. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Count that one. And what's unique about Baylor, Elgin he can Baylor. score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, that's going illegal to draw a screen. whistle every time down the floor. Not even close New York to ball. being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Knicks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Elijah Wan. Paul for three. And again, New York with the triple. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Three. For Sacramento, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Frazier the pass to Mackin. Kicks it to Bryant to end the run. Hits the three-point bomb. Three. Kobe's got a pair of threes now Kobe. in the first quarter for the game. Firing back. Kobe enjoys any opportunity to tap his competitive spirit. Here's Paul, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call, and will shoot too. Bob McAdoo. New York shooting their first shots from the strike Seven of this game. Five. And he knocks down the three. Not much more you can say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. At the line for the Knicks. Chris Paul. Two shots. And so Paul nails both of them. Well, a great player on a great the role Kings with a charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Well, well, whether these are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. They're not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team 
in the right mindset to carry it out. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Bryant. On the wing, Drexler shoots over Pippen. Drexler, no good. The Knicks leading by four. Outside Baylor. Elijah Wan trying to break free. Good work defensively by Bryant. And so on to the Kumbo will bring it up for the King. They're excited about the win on Thursday. And it really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. New York yeah, watching that, all kinds of contributions and just one. little things that guys were doing to chip in for that win. First this is his first foul. chance at the line tonight. First team foul. He's off on the first. You think about Giannis and just how special of a player he is. You know, off the court, the endeavors he's into. I mean, this guy has really grown into a global ambassador for the game of basketball. Gervin's checked in for Sacramento. Rose comes in for Frazier. And then for New York. Tempo is checked in for Elijah. Jordan comes in for Pippen. And it's Johnson in for Bailey. Drexler outside. A dunk by Drexler. How about the explosive vertical there? Not much you can do to stop Drexler once he gets to the rim. Now here's Paul. He has seven. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. That one on Rose. Derek Rose. And this is his second trip First to the line tonight. Five. Second team five. First one falls for the next. Reed is checked in for Sacramento. Chris Paul. Ron Grief comes in for Clyde Drexler. And so Paul nails both of them. The Kings trailed by six. Pass to Cowens. Poked away. Teardrop shot. Moncrief's shot is off. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Shoots from the elbow, tips it, and it's Russell with that extra effort. And, and this Bill is the Russell. problem. The, the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses and turning them into points. The uh, shot by Collins, no good. <laughs> when you are wrapped up that tightly, in the mid-range, you are better off just Bill moving Russell. the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope Assisting. if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes Michael a different Jordan. choice. Goes up on top, defended by Paul. Misses off the left iron. The Knicks leading by 10. There's 47 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Johnson. It's blocked. Here's Gervin. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Changing the edge quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Michael Jordan on the wing. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. They've Michael wasted Jordan. no time settling into their offense. Now Rose hasn't made one yet. Sidney Moncrief on the wing. Another three for Sacramento. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. A big time effort for Chris Paul, providing a That's lot of energy it. for the New York Knicks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The team is having all sorts of problems with them. We'll return shortly. 15. The Knicks. 22. And you 
are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinal. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. I yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right a now. Just a complete one. rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. So with Rhodes on the bench, this is the group Mike Brown has right now. We've got Trexler. I could do out there with Adetokounmpo. And there's Bryant. And it's Frazier in at the one spot. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Pippen. Rebound by the Kings. And McAdoo kicks to Frazier. Pippen against Zonda Kumbo. The kick out to Bryant. Six on the shot clock. Over Jordan. Here's McAdoo. And the layup's good off the glass. McAdoo's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Feeds Giannis. Good work defensively by Baylor. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets Stop out there and contests, and that's just enough. Frazier the pass to Drexler. Here's on to Takubo, and he could not get them five. one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Baylor. So tough to contain First the length of Giannis foul. when he takes those strides. First he's going to make you foul. For Sacramento, they have not yet made a free throw in the game. All of two so far. For Sacramento. Yep. All free throws good from out of Takubo. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for New York. Now the pass to Elijah one. And the Knicks good for two. And the ultimate combo Akeem guard. Elijah. Johnson can pass with the league's best playmakers. Pass to McAdoo. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Hakeem Elijah. Akeem Elijah. That's Second foul number two foul. for him. You know what? Try to step in foul. and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Holmgren is checked in for him as under Goomba. Chad Holmgren. Holmgren dishes to Bryant. Six to shoot. Puts up a deep three. Elijah on with the rebound. Well, after getting off to a great start, getting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here Scotty is Pitt. eye opening. Frazier against Johnson. Outside Bryant. Back to Frazier. Johnson grabs the board. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. He takes it in. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three Dennis to start Johnson. the game. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Sacramento again missing. The Knicks leading by nine. Here's Jordan. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Sacramento Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? You well, hard to say right now. At this point, I see the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. The Knicks also changing it up. Tembo is checked in for Elijah one. Russell comes in for Baylor, and Paul subbed in for Johnson. For New York, they've gone six and nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. All up top, he's covered by Rhodes. 
shooting foul Sacramento as foul. the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Derek Rose. Paul finding a way that time to draw the Second foul. So foul. far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line. First going four for foul. four. Shooting for New York. Chris Paul. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Two minutes Let's remaining in the first half. Point 12. Two minutes. Yeah, and consistency is the name of the game for Moncrief. Scotty Anytime Pippen. you play him, you're in first for a night foul. of all-around basketball. The Kings shoot their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Moncrief hits them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Oh, Russell in position. Throws yeah, down the alley oop slam. At this point, I don't know what Brown. you can do to slow this Michael team down. Jordan. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Ball with the three. Rebound by the Kings. It's stolen by Matumbo. And there's the whistle Kings on the foul. shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. George Griffin. He'll be shooting two. First and there's the foul. foul. Goes against Sacramento. The next two the seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And Matumbo, a defensive force. A long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. Pass to Collins. Back to Rose. And finished off by Rose. And one of the all-time high risers at the point guard position, Derrick Rose can still throw it now. This is a two matumba. There's 49 seconds left in the first half. And Russell with the basket on the assist by Matumbo. Bill Russell. Russell's got the lead up to 13 now for New York. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. And it's Rose with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. It's Gervin on the wing. Defended by Pippen. Gervin passes to Cowens. And he banks in the layup. That's just tremendous Dang. scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Ball for three. And that one released in time, but no good. And so we conclude the first, the first half. half with the score. Next lead by 11. Your king. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by Corson. David. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. So one half completed in this round two contest. For the Knicks, it's been a tough series for them so far, trailing three games to one, but they've clearly still got some fight left in them. First half of game five, they are playing very well, and they're out to prove they can stick around for at least another game. And taking a look at the Knicks, Shaq, what you think? You got and that's all we have for now. Tell the... Starting action from the Eastern Conference semifinal. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Whoa. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. So with Irving on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. We've got Baylor. Russell is out there with Michael Jordan. And it's Chris Paul. And it's Elijah Wan in the center position. 
beyond the arc. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. The Kings trail by nine, and here they come. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting Frazier. to the team. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Goes up with the strike, and the Knicks miss again. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Drexler, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Jordan. Here's Elijah one. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Hakeem Elijah one. Elijah one's got eight points. All right. After four misses, they finally get one to go. That has to be a big relief for the offense after beginning this half on a bit of a cold streak. That's what he gets you. A big time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Well, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Paul gets to Jordan. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Michael Jordan. Nine points in the game so far. Yeah, it's just amazing the hang time Jordan gets, he, even on a simple jump. Kobe passes to Drexler. Bryant with it. He's got eight. McAdoo inside. He's against the Wajawan. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Paul looking around. Here's Jordan. Clyde Drexler grabs the miss. Yeah, he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And as things present themselves throughout the game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Chet Holmgren, he's checked in for McAdoo. Johnson is checked in for New York. Baylor kicks to Johnson. Kobe with the steal. Here's Frazier. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. Frazier! And what makes Kobe next level? The instinct for the game, an ability to just see it before it happens. They get it again. Elijah Wong, up and in on the layup. Hakeem Elijah Elijah Wong's got four points now in the quarter. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Oh, big time move! Yes. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Ryan against Johnson. Outside Baylor. Both loose. And another turnover here. Bob New York. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Fifth best, Kobe Bryant. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Two minutes Frank remaining in the to Bryant. Two minutes. Oh, the agility and finish of Kobe Bryant. Kobe and they're beginning to Bryant. just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. The pass to Baylor. Back to Russell. The putback. It's good on the putback. Elijah has got 12 in the game. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. The now a timeout called time by out. Sacramento. Hakeem Olajuwon with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he's just attacking the rim with force. They need to try to deny him the ball in the paint. He to keep him away from the basket. Both teams deciding to change it up. Substituting on the court. 
Off the inbound pass, Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. No, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash Chris in Paul. on a simple basket. And Bryant kicks to Rose. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Derek Rose! Kobe's got his fourth assist in this one. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Paul passes to Elijah Wan. Sacramento grabs the miss. Giannis has got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's Rose. Outside, Gervin. Ana DeCumbo up top. Ana DeCumbo converts inside. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. Shot the game clock separated by five. Matumbo dishes to Pippen. Elijah Wan against Ana DeCumbo. Shoots off the step back. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Giannis Adetokounmpo. First oh, personal foul. Are all over that the Knicks First have scored five. six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Shooting for New York. Okay. Elijah on drops them both. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Ball's not loose. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. Shoots over Moncrief. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the New York Knicks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be right back after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this way? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Courtside at Game 5. So with Rhodes on the bench, this is the group Mike Brown has right now. Chris They've Paul. got Frazier. He's out there with Kobe. Irvin out there with McAdoo. And it's Cowens in at the power forward. Outside, Kobe. Pass to Gervin. Here's McAdoo, covered by Matumbo. Five on the clock. From deep, Bryant. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Elijah Wan's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That's good. Pippen. And I like what the Assistant. defense is thinking here, but Pippen Chris gets Paul. physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. The kick out to Frazier. On the wing, Kobe. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Elijah Wan's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Jordan. And it's blocked. That one goes. Count it. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Timeout called by the Kings. With the timeout. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Hans oh, 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 checked in for Sacramento. Drexler comes in for Brian. The Knicks also Russell changing again. it up. Russell, he's checked in for Elijah Wan. And it's Baylor in for Jordan. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Hey, thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Brown during the break. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort. Game rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Thank you, David. Frazier against Paul. Missed inside. 
Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Ivan Kumbo kicks to Drexel. Baylor against Gervin. Pass to Drexel. Gervin with the ball. The basket good off the assist from Drexler. George Gervin. Drexler's got six assists here tonight. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. You know, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Baylor, that's Elgin good. Elgin Baylor. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. The Knicks leading by 10. Oh, Russell in position. It's Thorbaugh to Takumbo. Frazier the pass to McAdoo. Gervin outside. Frazier outside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Ball hits the Russian. The ball. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Frazier. The shot by Paul, no good. The Kings trail by eight. Gervin passes to McAdoo. McAdoo controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. New York calls, New York timeout. calls timeout. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach hey, if you make all those adjustments. Hold the right Boy, strings. That's what they love to do. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Hakeem Olajuwon. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, two minutes and a, minutes a, minutes. a lot of two talent. Minutes. Deep two from Pippen. And a great assist Scotty by Pippen. Paul as that one goes in. Assist from? And that's 11 points here Chris for Scotty Pippen. Frazier standing before. Here's Kobe. No good. Shot missing. Good work defensively by Bailey. Here's Pippen. Drexler with the block. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Drexler. Out of bounds. Knicks ball. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. Passes to Elijah Wan. And he uses the glass on the lane. Elijah Wan's got four points in the quarter. And that's just too deep. Uh, Elijah Wan with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. Ivan Takumbo trying to free himself up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting Elgin foul. Baylor. And a closer look here Second at the hustle stands for New York. Great game for them offensively. I mean, coaches love seeing multiple shots per possession and then converting those second chance Half opportunities. I feel like another part of tonight's game has Kobe been the hustle. Bryce. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Drexler against Pippen, and there's the pass to Elijah Wan. Shot clock at six. Goes up on the top of the key. Hots to Kumbo, pulls it in. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And that's how you want to see defense play. Got right up in his face to bother the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. Pippen, the pass to Paul. Back to Pippen. Over Drexel. Pippen, no luck. 
Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the King. Eight point game. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Frazier against Paul. So it's New York picking up the win. People were riding their obituary before this game, <laughs> but this win cast the series in a whole new light now. Greg. And listen, they the still got to win two more. But after seeing how they perform tonight, is there any... you to the following presentation of the NBA. And inside the locker room, you can sense the nervous energy around the postseason. This is what everyone's worked toward all year. And now the Indiana Pacers starting. And for Boston... Off the tip, it's Boston. Here's Robertson. Doncic outside. To the inside. Here's Chamberlain. Oh, a nice one-handed slam Wilson right there. Chamberlain. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Hayes. Chamberlain pulls it in. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Durant surveying the D. The 11 footer. Here's Hayes from outside the arc. Got a piece of it, and it's out of bounds to Indiana. Out of bounds. Pacers ball. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Look, Brady, good. Boy, after missing three straight, they finally get one to go down. Pass to Doncic. From deep, it's Hayes with the rebound. The Pacers have gone one of four to begin this one. Outside Durant. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Just five to shoot. He shoots it. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Kevin this guy can Durant. do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Has to have a check. Three-pointer. That shot, no good. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Chalk up two there. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. Here's Havlicek. Pacers foul. Elvin Hayes. First personal foul. First team foul. So it's Boston now. Four point game. Has to Havlicek. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. West misses. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for Boston. Oh, a clear foul Indian there on foul. the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Jerry West. 
first personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your Celtics, Oscar Robertson. First free throw is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Fires for three. The rebound, Celtics. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. alley up on top, hammer it home. It's one of the best things about playing with Luka Doncic. He creates a lot of open looks. Here's West. McGrady takes the three. Chamberlain pulls it in. For Boston, they've gone two of six to open up this game. The steal. Durant with it. It's not going to go for him. Good D by Doncic. Here's Havlicek, guarded by Durant. Havlicek passes to Garnett, and he lays it up and in. Garnett's got his second bucket. Well, at his age, for Kevin Garnett, it's about the passion and toughness allowing him to be successful. Time called here. Indiana, Indiana decides to talk it over. Time with the offense reeling. Coach has here to get these guys on the they same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And some changes here for the Pacers. Indiana's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Irving. Rebound Boston. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Wade, the pass to Malone. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Wade. One for one to start the game. You know, you can't let Dwayne Wade create this kind of separation because he doesn't need much. That's when he's going to go to work. Irving looking around. His chase. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. The Celtics have gone four of eight and looking in control. Pierce. Second shot opportunity. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. That's a three-second violation. Indiana ball. Indiana trailing here. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots Boston to have any foul. kind of chance. And he'll draw the oh, foul. Here. He'll head to the line for two. The defense First there doing whatever they foul. can to protect the rim. First team foul. The line for the Pacers. James Worthy.
first one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. The Celtics with the lead. A minute nine left in the first. Pass to Pierce. Here's Malone. No made baskets yet. Six on the shot clock. Pierce gets the bucket. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Indiana's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Worthy. Right wing. Down low. No good with a layup. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes Second up. Defenders not locking out in that instance. Shooting for Indiana. James Worthy. At the line for one. have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Here's Wade. Shot from the top of the key. Good as the jump shot falls. Now he's turned Wade. himself into a smooth shooting two-man, right? Wade delivers time and time again. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Sampson. Here's Worthy. Turn around, Jay. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Yeah, that one's good. Oh, Pierce has got his second there. basket. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. And so the first quarter is in the book. The end of the first quarter. Yes, the Celtics. Score. They lead by five. And we'll bring you to start of quarter number two when we return. 16. The Pacers. 11. coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Glad to have you back. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted Tracy, to come out of the Brady. gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And for the Pacers. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish Will it all. Chamberlain. <laughs> Once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Durant for three. From deep, Durant. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense Bull work three. on the perimeter a bit. Pass to Chamberlain. And here's Doncic outside. Drills it from deep. Doncic has got his first three points of the game. That last three got under Luka's skin, and he decided to respond. On the wing, Durant. He has seven. Boston with a rebound. And here's the fast break. To the right side. Pass to Havlicek. Here's Chamberlain. He's guarded by Irving. Chamberlain, no good. 
Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against well, soft Chamberlain. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. And the Pacers call time here. Well, There's just a lot the of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotation. Oh, hey, poor poor. rotation. There's Go a lot to figure out right now. Me. Second quarter basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Entertainment. Durant, the pass to McGrady. The three. Chamberlain pulls it in. Chamberlain's got four rebounds in the game. Doncic, no good. Indiana has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And rejected. And it's out of bounds out of to bounds. Indiana. Indiana ball. Here's West. Yet to see a basket. Katie gets a step. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be yeah, time to man. look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Oh, oh, oh my, what a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Garnett, blocked! And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston out will have bounds. another go. Still Celtics ball. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Clock at two. I love the energy of Kevin Durant on the defensive end. Long and tall and does a great job contesting without fouling. Here's West. Here's Yao. Kept alive. Pass to McGrady. Outside Durant. Hayes up top. 4-3. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. Jerry One for four. West. Well, that's his shot right there. You three. know if he gets any kind of room, he's going to dial it up from distance. Here's Doncic. Rebounded by West. Indiana's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Into the lane. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jerry West, West has got five points now in the quarter. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Pass to Garnett. Here's Havlicek. From deep, here's Doncic. From way back there, Luka. That's Luka. his second triple this quarter. Oh, I guess he's left that dry spell behind. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. Trying anything Indiana now to get them out of this slump. It just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. The They're having right a now. hard time getting anything to fall. A big group substitution here for Indiana. Someone once again for Suffolk Entertainment. Chase passes to Monroe. Here's West. Two minutes for the three pointer off the mark. Two minutes. The Celtics have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Here's Stockton. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And here's Doncic outside. And again, Boston with the triple. Fearless as always. Doncic loves to fill it up from deep. Here's West, guarded by Doncic. What an excellent post-entry pass. Worthy. Good things happen when you make that next look. Boston has gone three of six from deep so far. Stockton, the pass to Pierce. One fourteen left in the second period. He shoots. Six to shoot. Doncic on the wing. They get it again. Pass to Pierce. Tries yet again. And that one is stuffed right through. 
And I just Artists love how he's more. making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt on the scoreboard in the body language Indiana of the players, ball. you can tell which team is in complete control. The screener was leaning First, a bit right there. Foul. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get Power away with Malone. it, but boy, the official all over it. Dwayne Wayne. Here's Wade. Pass to Pierce. There's 39 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Here's Malone. And Worthy pulls it down. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. Sampson passes to Monroe. Goes back up. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Knocked away. From deep three-point range. No good on the buzzer beater. Oh, what a Let's performance by Luka Doncic. He score. has been... Thanks so much, Rick. What did you think of your team's off? Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back. You're taking a look at the Celtics. Although they haven't been dominant in this series so far, tonight is clearly not going to be easy. If they hope to finish the series off here in Game 5, they've got some work to do in the second half. And taking a look at the Celtics, can... And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third... Let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal Game 5. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Indiana trailing Pacers here. Foul. And for the Pacers. Jerry Luka Doncic has already established Second himself as a perennial foul. candidate for MVP. He controls the game First with the basketball foul. in his hands. He is an incredible driver, and he makes the game easy for the guys around him. At the line for your Celtics. Luka Doncic. That's good from Doncic. Doncic hits them both. Well, Indiana shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Here's West. Gilmore grabs the miss. Gilmore's got his sixth rebound on the night. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Doncic with it. Durant covering. Releases from 15, and he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Well, Luka not forcing his way inside, just taking that mid-range shot because that's what the defense offered up to him. Foul. Oscar Robertson. First personal foul. First team foul. And he makes a first. Off the line from the Pacers. Jerry West. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Doncic. Here's Havlicek. All sorts of time. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. From Luka Doncic just got three assists in the game. And so it's Durant who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. For three, at the arc, KD drains it. 
the fluidity, the mechanics, the purity. KD's jumper is sweet. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Launches it. Here's Chamberlain. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked Whoa, up two on the second effort. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Outside Durant. Pass to McGrady. Shot clock at six. Hayes. Another shot. And it's blocked. KG has always had tremendous instincts. Sends oh, another one back the way it came. The Pacers making a switch here. Irving's checked in. Timeout called. The Pacers. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Once again for Celtics Entertainment. Right side Durant, five to shoot. KD won't be stopped. Kevin Durant Kevin just Durant. understands how to find the open spots on the floor. His scoring line proof of him getting to the efficiency we always look to. Has to have Lecek from deep three-point land. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got four rebounds now. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Offensive board. The layup misses. The Celtics have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Kevin Durant. First personal foul. Second team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Wade, Long. he's checked in for Boston. The Pacers also with a sub. Sampson's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Indiana's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Now Irving. Still no points. Oh, they get a hand on it. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Here's Garnett. Oh, and that with no question. Powered it down. You know, the length and intelligence of Kevin Garnett still making an impact at the rim. There's the three. McGrady shot is off. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Here's Robertson. Ooh, plenty of contact Indiana on that shot. Foul. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Sampson. Second personal foul. And he drops the first. Two foul. And he makes both free throws. Now here's Irving. Pass to Shays. Here's Monroe. Junior Sampson. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Ralph Sampson. Sampson's got his first Assist bucket of the night. Earl Monroe. Beyond the arc. Oh, nice shot by Havlicek. And the Celtics lead by 14. Well, the basketball mind that Dwayne Wade possesses was so special. What understanding and feel for where his guys will be. And they're able to recover. Irving for three. Nails it from three. And their perimeter shooting Irving. numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Pass to Havlicek. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oh, Havlicek's got Havlicek. nine points in the quarter. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Boston? I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. 
So it's about more than just those block numbers. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Here's Havlicek. And again, Boston with the triple. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Irving, the pass to Monroe. It's tipped. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Wade, that's Dwayne good. Wade. He's such a crafty and confident shooter off the dribble. You give him just a sliver of space, and he will torch you. Pass to Sampson. Here's Monroe. Tipped away. Here's Garnett. Six points for him. Indiana foul. Ralph Sampson. Third personal foul. And the first one at the line is good. Team the foul. Pacers making a switch here. At the line. Kevin Garnett. It's both from the strike. And here is Irving. Pass to Monroe. Got it off in time. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Austin. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. The Pacers. 39. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Stockton's shot is off. And for Indiana. On the take. Boston foul. Artist Gilmore. First personal foul. First team foul. First one falls. Shooting for Indiana. So he gets them both. Here's Stockton. Inside. Here's Robertson. And the layup is good after a nice Oscar lead pass. Robertson. And the Celtics lead by 18. Here's West. Pass to McGrady. The three. It's the trifecta. One this half, two Tracy, for the game. McGrady. Stay active from beyond three the park. Points. Here's Wade. Nineteen footer. Tips it. It's good on the putback. Boy, they're plus Ten five in the boys after that rebound. Indiana's got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Pass to Hayes. Here's Yao. For three, Durant. The rebound, Celtics. Gilmore's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Robertson. Can't connect from short range. Indiana's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Durant for three. Rebound Boston. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. There's the block. And he's going for the oop here. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Wade, guarded by Durant. Chamberlain passes to Stockton. Pass to Robertson. And lays it up and banks it in. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Robertson. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. The Pacers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Now here's Hayes, guarded closely.
Here's West. Yao passes to Hayes. Here's West. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes a three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Boston has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Wade. Sinks that one from the post. And the Celtics lead by 21. See, these difficult finishes take incredible concentration. And Dwayne Wade is accustomed to taking those hits. Here's West. Nails it from beyond the arc. They've been pretty Jerry lax West. with their perimeter defense, giving up Three. a lot of three-pointers. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Robertson on the wing. Wade, this one for three. And again, Four. Boston with the triple. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Pass to Durant. And counted from 12 Kevin feet. Durant. And Boston calls time here. Assisted by Jerry West. Boston, timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. And he really made his presence felt on something. the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for opening. When he found him, by scoring a lot of baskets by smashing to the man. Man, he was fully committed to getting the W. The next round is in sight, and he doesn't want to let that chance slip away. To the left side wing. Here's Havlicek. Who will give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. And just oh, totally no. relentless, Check. only increasing the From intensity Kevin level. Garnett. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Pass to McGrady. Goes up on the wing. Here's Hayes. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Boston has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Here's Havlicek. A minute 22 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Chamberlain. And the Celtics tack on two more. These guys really stepped up and played their hearts out to finish the series on their terms. So it's going to be on to the next round for the Celtics. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And over the course of this series, the difference in talent level between these teams became clear. Well, there was a difference in just about Boston every ball. aspect. Not just talent. It was coaching, effort, on intensity, the just a dominating performance. And now they'll have some time to rest up and put everything in place for the next round. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. Here's Worthy, guarded by Doncic. Pass to Yao. To the paint. Here's Camby. Rebounded by Stockton. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And here's Doncic outside. Here's Pierce. Doncic outside. And the Boston Celtics Yay! will move on. They snuff out any chance at a comeback with the Game 5 win. Now it's on to the Conference Finals. If anyone had doubts about this team and its resilience... one day it was there anything that stood out when we were filming this for you like the process i think just the overall let's beat the starters for your 
San Antonio Spurs. 6'10". This is a do or die situation. Big game five. So it gets all on the bench. So this is who Kevin Alley has out there. Anthony is out there with Nowitzki. Then it's Robinson. Then there's Moses Malone. And it's Eaton in at the five down low. And for the Spurs. Carter out there with LeBron James. That's Hill. Then there's Howard. And it's Abdul Jabbar in at the five, roaming the paint. Now Hill. Carter on the wing. It's hold in by Malone. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Now here's Malone. Abdul Jabbar with the steal. And finished off by Carter. And this is why he's called insanity. Some of Carter's throwdowns are downright vicious. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Knocked away. Anthony taking his time here. Nowitzki, the pass to Carmelo. On loads. A rebound by the Spurs. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. James dishes to Howard. Elbow shot is on the way. And he gets the friendly spin in that one. Right and because of his ability to attack the rim, Hill can use that mid-range jumper as a great second option. Keeps defenders honest when he's knocking that down. Sinks the triple. And when he's got that much of a height advantage on the perimeter, it's really tough on the defender. Easy three-pointer. Hill against Malone. Hill inside. Malone with the block. And how about the quicks there by Malone to get up and deter that shot, utilizing that side and foul. reach for the rejection. This Why is his first trip to the line tonight. First personal foul. That one first is off. Team foul. Shooting for Brooklyn. And he sinks the second. Yeah, and Malone excels at putting himself in a great position, really, on both ends. Just a dynamite rebounder and interior score. Now, here is Abdul Jabbar. Stolen by Robinson. Malone in the high post. He's against Hill. From 11 feet away. And there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist Dirk from Moses Nowitzki. Malone. A mid-range specialist. All Nowitzki needs is a little wiggle room, and he's going to let it go. Here's James. Banked in off the glass. Just setting the tone with an aggressive yeah. move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Cross contact on the shot. Oh, Three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. LeBron James. Talented, driven, he puts First constant pressure on your defense. Brooklyn shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. They want that intensity to carry over from that victory on Friday. <laughs> Mental toughness on the road. The arena was wow. rocking, but they just got down to the business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm wow. and made smart adjustments game. along the way. For your Spurs now Boy, here's Abdul Jabbar, and it's good, two points. Carter's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, I like that. Good lead by DC. An elite big-time scorer with versatility. Levitsky outside. Pass to Robinson. Here's Anthony. James cover. A shot by Anthony. No good. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. 
Malone against Hill. James. And they'll get another chance. And he gets the whistle. Two yes. free throws coming up. Moses Malone. It goes on Moses Malone. First Ooh, giving the D no other choice. Once First Dwight team. Howard is established inside, you got to follow him. And the Spurs with some changes. Patrick Ewing's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Barry comes in for Grant Hill. And it's James Harden in for LeBron. Now here's Malone. Nowitzki for three. At this time, his first miss in three attempts from the field. Here's Barron. Passes it to Harden. With the shot, he nails the jumper. Yeah, we, we all know Rick Barry can create for himself, but we get to see there what kind of passing skills he also possesses. What a sensational lead. Two minutes. Now here's Iverson. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh my Bob goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Iverson against Harden. One thirty-seven left to play here in the first. And shot is good that time. Harden's got his second best of the game. Harden against Stuyverson. Over to the left wing. Wide open shot is on the Bob money. Bennett. Man, he just sees Assist everything on the floor. Two. Nice vision from Iverson, Iverson to find the open man. Harden the pass to Ewing. That's tipped and stolen by Gasol. Here's Iverson and the rejection by Harden. Barry the pass to Howard. Malone with the block. Nowitzki looking around. Down low. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ewing. Harden outside. Over Nowitzki. Harden no good. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for the Nets. And another turnover here by Brooklyn. Warnings checked in for the Spurs. And then for Brooklyn. Mullen comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. And it's Peyton in for Allen Ivey. Love it, love it. Carter is so tenacious on the attack. I love seeing Carter go all the way on that one. About three seconds between shot and game clock. They get it back. Gasol. And that one is good with the extra effort Martin on the glass. Gasol. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. The feed now to Ewing. Shoots over Gasol. No good from Ewing. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Tie game in San Antonio. Yes, and we'll be back with you for the start of the second 50. quarter when we return. The Nets. 50. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at game five. And guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. So with Howard sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. We've got Harden. Abdul-Jabbar is out there at morning. Then it's James. And it's Hill in at the three. LeBron. Always a good sign when LeBron is hitting jumpers. Confidence is on the rise. Malone can't hit. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. One LeBron. sign of a great playmaker James. hitting his man in stride. Peyton the bounce pass. Malone against Hill. Malone down low. Five to shoot. Anthony. That misses off the backboard. And really, that is why he is feared 
as a defender right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. LeBron kicks the morning. Throws it up high. Eaton grabs the miss. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. Hill passes to Abdul Jabbar. They grab their own miss, and Kareem throws it down. Hey, not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. And the first time out, ball of the game Canada. for Brooklyn. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Powers checked in for Morning. And then for Brooklyn, Robinson's checked in for Malone. Nowitzki comes in for Mullen. And Iverson's subbed in for Payton. They get a hand on it. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Robinson. And the formula is simple for these guys. Get Robinson the ball near the hoop and watch the Admiral operate. Here's James. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clearly a foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. So far for me, they found a lot of good shots in the mid range. They've been fearless attacking with the jump shot. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. Iverson against James. Here's Robinson, and the shot is long. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Hill, no good. That's trailed by six. Here's Nowitzki. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Nowitzki's got seven points. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Inside, here's Abdul Jabbar, and Kareem throws it down. The pass from LeBron moves the ball so well. From T. Iverson, a rebound by the Spurs. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out contested. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Levitsky kicks to Anthony. There's the triple. San Antonio with the rebound. Abdul Jabbar's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hill. It's hauled in by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound in this Two one. To the, the inside. Stolen by Harden. To the paint. Here's Howard. Tipped away. Nets trailed by six. Pass to Iverson. Nowitzki outside. Back to Iverson for the three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's Harden with the drive. And Harden with the stop. And on the drive. Just so tricky to guard. No one wants to risk handing him a foul. Timeout called the Nets. Yes. Trying to find Time some out. answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Get on up and make some noise for the Spurs Pack Squad. A different look now for San Antonio. Ewing's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Barry comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's Carter in for Grand Hill. Iverson against LeBron. Now here's Iverson. Guarded closer. Just five to shoot. Over LeBron. Iverson, no luck. 
And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. Patrick and Ewing with Ewing. that size really creates a tough matchup, especially when he's attacking the offensive board. Iverson again for Brian. Iverson passes to Nowitzki. Trying to get something going. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Harden. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the first half. And the ongoing league debate. Mark Who's Gasol. the toughest guy to guard? Harden's name always first comes up. Foul. For San Antonio, they have been successful. Second in the four attempts up to this point. So for the Nets, Malone's checked in for Anthony. Mullen comes in for Novitski. And it's Peyton in for Allen Iverson. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Harden against Peyton. To the middle. Here's Malone. Great defense that time from Hewitt. Mm, I'm not sure what That's happened on that play. Hand. They what have relaxed goal. a little bit once he got to the rim. And Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action Minutes. following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Nike. Show. And checking out the Spurs. They've had the upper hand in this series. And boy, did they look great out there tonight. Completely in control at the half. Certainly looking to make it a 4-1 to one series. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how San Antonio played? That about wraps. Back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. That may be just the beginning. He might try to carry this team across the finish line himself. So with Gasol on the bench. So this is who Kevin Alley has out there. They've got Anthony. Robinson is out there at Malone. Boy, and there's Novitsky. And it's Eaton in at the five spot. Twice ran a pick and roll over a million times. Howard knows exactly what to do. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Pick ball violation. That's a jump ball. So it's the Spurs now. Spurs leading by 14. James looking it over. And the pass to Howard. To the paint. And it's Abdul-Jabbar. That time on the assist by Howard. Abdul-Jabbar has got six points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Levitsky kicks to Malone. Pass to Anthony. Let's the free fly. Kept alive. Yeah, easy call. San Antonio foul. The Nets shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul ball. line in the game. First personal foul. And he first can't get the first one. San Antonio making a switch here. Hills checked in. Shooting for Brooklyn. Mark Eaton. Two shots. He hits the second from the line. Spurs leading by 15. Passes it to Howard. Excellent D that time from Robinson. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets.
pass to Eaton. Down to five on the shot clock. The three from Anthony. Cracks in the tray. Oh, no. Anthony's Anthony. got himself on the board with three there. There's that touch from outside. Love seeing Mello rise up with confidence. James the pass to Howard. Carter looking around. On the wing, James. Covered by Anthony. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. San Antonio ball. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Second, Carmelo Anthony. And, of course, LeBron James. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. He gets it in there. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. Then the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Anthony. Rebounded by the Spurs. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Taken away by Anthony. Over Carter. With the putback. I mean, just throwing himself on the offensive David glass. Robinson. Robinson knows he has the size and length to capitalize there. San Antonio calls timeout. <laughs> and the Spurs with some changes. Morning's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Ewing comes in for Howard. And Barry subbed in for James. And so it's San Antonio with it. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Hill drives in. Inside. And stolen by Gasol. Peyton against Hill. Now here's Peyton. Still without a basket. Just five on the clock. Gasol passes to Mullen. And Mullen with the slam. Yes, Mullen. The big fella loves to pass. Assistant. Mark Gasol with the vision and court Mark awareness Gasol. to do it from anywhere on the floor. Here's Hill. Count the basket. And the Spurs lead by 12. Now that's a high percentage look when Two the D doesn't fight over the third. screen. The reason why it takes extra energy to do it, you have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Heat. That one's not going to go. Morning with some nice D. Here's Carter. Plays it up off the glass. Man, Carter's got eight points. Good defensive effort, but against Carter, it's not enough. He's just too explosive. On the wing, Peyton. Carter against Iverson. And Gasol now top of the key. Over morning. Gasol no good. San Antonio leading by 14. One eleven left in the third. Here's Barry. Rebounded by the Nets. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But that this is why we play the game. Good. And it's encouraging seeing Iverson just bury the three ball. When he's got that shot going, he is basically unguarded. Outside Hill. And it's good for two. Hill's got his right third bucket here. of the night. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. Peyton looking it over. The pass to Mullen. Puts up a three. It's good from long range. Chris Mullen's Mullen. got his second bucket of the night. And they points. have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. 
down low. Here's Ewing. Here's Morning. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. They get Marcus Gasol. And you got to love the fire with his passion for the game. First is so special. And both free throws good for Morning. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs that cut by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over. 45. And how about look now at our assist to the game? 42 by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinals. So with Ewing sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. They've got Abdul Jabal. Harden out there with LeBron James. That's Hill. And it's Howard in at the power forward position. And that's the type of challenge Anthony presents to the defense. Sometimes they are just forced to foul. And a chance for just Shooting a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. Anthony. I think the mid-range game has been a go-to option shots. for them in this game. And when it's working like it is for them, I see no reason to make a change. And another stat that they've excelled at is points off assists. They're moving the ball around and creating great looks for one another. The three from Harden buries the long-range jumper. And the Spurs lead by 12. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. The three from Anthony. Rebound San Antonio. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. And with the success they've had, we got the basketball. They go right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up to four. And I just love it when the fast break results and a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Novitsky kicks to Anthony. Lock at six. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And there it is Moving on a night three. when he's been so efficient handling the basketball. That's his San first Antonio real mistake. Ball. Carter, he's checked in for the Spurs. San Antonio leading by the team. The floor for your Spurs. Vince Shoots Carter. from the elbow. They get it back. Got a piece of it. <laughs> and having Eaton protecting the rim, that's about the same as building a brick wall around the basket. Just nothing gets over him. What an intimidator down low. Bobbed up there for Howard. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Anthony, the pass to Nowitzki. Over Hill. And again, it's the next missing. The Spurs have gone two for five. On field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Carter kicks to Hill. Driving to the basket. An easy two points on the way. That bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Timeout Time call for the Nets. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of wanting, helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Let's hear it. That's trailed by the 16. Nowitzki, the pass to Robinson. Pass to Anthony. Over LeBron. And that one's good, Anthony. Anthony. Anthony's got five points now in the quarter. This is where Carmelo's teammates look to feed him. The mid-range, he has that down pack. Carter inside the three-point line. Robinson pulls it in. And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Nowitzki against Carter. Nowitzki kicks to Malone. Here's Eaton. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. The drive by Hill. 
And the word you got to use down. is explosive out there when, when talking about Moses Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game Second to come to him. Down. He goes out and just makes first things happen. Down. The first free throw is good. At the line for San Antonio. Grant. That one falls, so he hits both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. That one drops for him. And that's Moses leadership Moreau. right there. Anthony wanting to work the rock over to an open teammate. Hill passes to Howard. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Malone. Out of bounds. San Antonio ball. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. It's back to Hill. Shot clock at five. Over Malone. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Moses Malone. Third it goes on Moses down. Malone. Free throw drops for Hill. Alive. And so he hits both. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Nets. It's a 16-point game. Robinson on the wing. Nowitzki, the pass to Malone. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Abdul Jabbar. To the inside. Two minutes remaining. Throws it down. Two minutes. Total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they tighten up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Inside. Here's Eaton. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. San Antonio with the ball. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. LeBron dishes to Howard. Howard, a great positioning on the footman. And the Spurs lead by 20. This is Dwight's role to attack the glass and keep plays alive. No time out for that Brooklyn. They're trailing by 20. 133 left to the fourth. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. Well, with the conference finals within reach, he was not going to let it slip away. Gasol passes to Carmelo. Gasol kicks to Anthony. Back to Gasol. Pass to Pettit. Anthony against LeBron. Six to shoot. Here's Malone. Puts it up. And again, it's the Nets missing. San Antonio leading by 20. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the Spurs. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver Three on second violation. Of punishment. They definitely never Brooklyn changed ball. the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the a better team in just about every single category. And I clearly think they showed uh, to be the better team over the course of the series. Hey, anytime you can win in five, I, I mean, tonight, of course, they are way out in front. You, you take a lot of that mojo into the next round. We'll, we'll see if they can keep this same sort of competitive attitude as the stakes get higher. The competition also gets tougher. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can deal with pace, you can deal with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Levinsky kicks to Malone. Out 
outside. Peyton. Shot to stop the run. That shot missing. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up a challenge to be You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to. On this season, what did that mean to you as a beacon of this community for so long? That means a lot. I've had an opportunity to connect with this community. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Everything on the line tonight as we get ready. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. They've got Giannis on the Kumbo. And it's Frazier in at the point guard position. And for the Knicks, we've got Chris Paul. And it's Russell in at the four. You look at the Kings, this is their chance to finish off what's been a highly contested series. But it's going to be tough to do on the road. Tough indeed. I mean, even though they were the favorites coming in, they're facing an opponent with surging confidence in an arena that may be as loud as we've heard all year. It should be a terrific game. Here's Drexler. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Paul looking it over. Pass to Olajuwon. Russell with the ball. To the middle. Clock at six. And the shot goes down. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. Just dream of that. Gladly take those. Here's Frazier. And it's rejected. Now here's Paul. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Russell to pass to Paul. Let's it fly. And the basket by Pippen. Chris Paul Scotty is Pippen. always thinking pass first. He's so good at finding Mike his eight. teammates, especially Four. when they're Zero. Open. Pass to Frazier. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Walt That's Frazier. a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Here's Baylor, covered by Bryant. And it's Baylor missing. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense is Baylor. And right away, he's going to work on the board. Nick just played. fighting for every rebound. A really good start for him overall. He's already having a big impact on this game. Count that one. Giannis oh, man, the balance ball. of muscle Giannis possesses is tremendous. Phenomenal at scoring on physical defenses. Paul passes to Pippen. Outside Paul. Puts up a three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Baylor, the pass to Paul. To the left wing. Here's Baylor. That one is off. Great D that time from Ananakumpo. The Kings have gone just two for four from the floor. Defense! 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 Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Pippen passed to Paul. Here's Baylor. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Elton Baylor. Baylor's got six. His accuracy is on a next level of this quarter. Eight high four. quality shooting. Bryant, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Here's Frazier. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. The Knicks have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Paul. 
Throws it up high. The rebound by McAdoo. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. And it's Paul with the ball for New York. Here's Pippen. Rejected by Anadokupo. Giannis puts his touch on every aspect of the game. Big reach on display that time. Frazier with the bucket. Walt Starting Frazier. to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, Timeout. it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now a timeout called by New York. Once again, fans, make some noise for your next city dancer. And the Kings and going with a whole new group out there. For your next city dancer. But let me hear you once again. Out to the right wing. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Outside Johnson. Pass to Matumbo. Here's Pippen. Just five on the clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And that's how you defend that team. Matumbo. Literally. The Kings trailing. Next lead. Ten. Six. Here's Lockreed. Here's Cowens, guarded by Russell. Cowens passes to Moncrief. And he lobs it up top! Oh man, take Dave a look Cowens. at that one! Just a textbook alley from Beautifully done! He served Dave it up Moncrief. on a platter! One eleven left to play in the first. Here's Pippen. Hits the front of the rim and out. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Rose against Johnson. Here's Kerbin. Here's Cowens. Oh, it's no good! That would have tied it! The Knicks have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Outside Johnson to the paint. Here's Jordan. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Sidney Montgomery. First personal foul. First team. First foul. free throw is good. Michael Jordan. And both free throws good for Jordan. 35 seconds left now in the first quarter. And there's the foul. Five. It'll go on Derek Rose. Five. That's his the first foul of the game. A great job to establish position Derek and Rose. square up. That's his first personal. First team foul. Rose against Johnson. Pass to Jordan. Back to Johnson. And that one's good. When they get their Dennis opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Knicks lead. 14, 19 seconds eight. left in the first quarter. Rose outside. Here's Reed. Sacramento again missing. And he's very confident from that range. But you can't make a ball. And that concludes That's the first the quarter of first play. Quarter with the score. Knicks out in front. Up by the six. Knicks. After this break, we'll be back with Four the start games. of the second quarter the on Kings. 2K Sports. Eight. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. This game six getting started. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a great effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they played. Great showing from them. On the court for the Kings, second quarter on the way. They've got Kobe Bryant, and it's on to Kupo, and it's the power forward. Jordan against Bryant. Pass to Baylor. Here's Matumbo. Shot clock at six. Now Jordan from behind the arc. Rebounded by Gervin. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. 
Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's Jordan. No good on the shot. Excellent D there from Bryant. From deep. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And oh, that's Bryant. on the defense there. Gotta know Three the scout report and understand that he loves his shot. Now a timeout called by New York. Timeout, New York. On your feet, fans, and make some noise. It's your next city dancer. Let's go for your next And looking at these playoffs so dance. far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. You take a look at Bryant. Right now, he's fifth in assist, just cutting defenses to pieces. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Paul passes to Jordan. Drexler grabs the board. The Kings have got two of three shots to go in the second. Hook loose. Paul with a steal. Fast break. New York. Here's Jordan. And another shot. And Paul lays it in. And the Knicks lead by oh. five. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the Next rock inside lead. and convert. 13. 13. Here's Frazier. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Bryant. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got his second basket on the night. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Here's Matumbo. Five on the clock. Pass to Baylor. Kobe grabs the miss. For Sacramento, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. On to Kumpo. And he got the whistle Next on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. The First personal foul. One of the only ways to slow down on Kumpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may yes. not work. He is ball. so good at absorbing contact in the paint. So the Kings making a change here. Holmgren's checked in. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Paul. Drops in the three. Paul's got five points. You can't let Paul get room to shoot from downtown. That's a recipe for disaster. Knicks with Frazier. 21, 17. And too long on the shot. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. Up top Paul. The shot from 20 feet out. Giannis with the rebound. Oh, Kumpo has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Frazier. Bryant outside. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Outside Paul. Inside. And the basket by Matumbo. And now it's a six-point New York lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Two minutes. Down low. Here's Frazier. Two minutes. The shot misses. Paul with some nice D. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Now Jordan. Pass to Olajuwon. Rejected by Holmgren. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. Here's a three from Paul. Sacramento grabs the miss. Adana Kumpo has got a six rebound on the back. Bryant left side. And you can count it. Next He'll go to the line with a chance at a three point play. That's good. That's good. That's good. That might have woke.
woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. So the Kings making a change here. Timeout. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure oh, to force turnovers and good steal. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to force turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. Pass to Jordan. We've got 108 left in the second quarter. Excellent D there from Bryant. Aracupo finds Bryant. Cash money from 16 feet away. Colton Bryant's got 10 points in the game. New York has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Outside Johnson. Back to Jordan. Uses the glass on the layup. Credit Michael their discipline. Jordan. They've been working for high percentage shots. Next lead, 25, 22. 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll go to the next. New York ball. Reed's checking for substitution. Willis Reed. There's 38 seconds left to play in the half. Pippen, pass to Johnson. Here's Pippen, on an Akumpo covering. Good on the shot. Scotty Pippen. Now it's a five-point New York lead. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. On an Akumpo with it. Three seconds left. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. James He's so Cowan. strong when he goes to work on the glass. One opening is all he'll need to finish That's the game. Even half. if it's just a tip. And the first half comes to an end. we got a close game going here. It's the Knicks. Leading by three. The Kings. Well, now a minute to check in with Ali LaForce. I'm joined by Coach Thibodeau. Coach, any areas to clean up in the second half? They're missing some shots, but the thing I don't like is we're giving up the second shot. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Pick for the Knicks. This series has been a hard fall. Tonight's game, no good. Trailing three games to two, their backs up against the wall, and we'll just have to wait and see if they have what it takes to force a game seven. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Knicks. Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball. And that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not... And that's all we have for now. forward position. That's the five for New York right now. Olajuwon can't get it to go. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Pass to Drexler. Here's Frazier. McAdoo. Pass to Frazier. Four on the clock. Can't get it to go. Paul with some nice D. Here's Pippen from the high post. Called in by the Kings. Adana Kumpo has got rebound number eight here already in the game. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Bryant outside. And then Bryant! With the dunk. His arrow's been Holy trending Bryant. up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Knicks. 
They lead by one. Ooh, it's stolen away. Here's Frazier. He's guarded by Paul. Trexler passes to Frazier. To the wing, right side. Here's McAdoo. And count that. Next Two five. points and a chance for one more at the line. Give First them credit. Foul. They fought hard to get back into it, and now they're rewarded with the lead. Holmgren, Holmgren. he's checked in for the Kings. And this is what Coach wants to see from Holmgren. I'll work in the defense to get a second-chance look. The fadeaway. And again, the Knicks missing. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable for mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Over to the wing. Pass to McAdoo. Six on the shot clock. Frazier with the bucket. Walt Frazier. Boy, absolutely no Assist rim from. protection, leading to a Walt lot of easy McAdoo. buckets here. To the inside. Here's Olajuwon. And he was fouled while in the Second act of shooting, foul. so he'll take two free throws. Bob McAdoo. First personal foul. First team First foul. one falls. Hakeem Olajuwon. At the line, two shots. No good on the second free throw. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. New York trailing. Pass to Baylor. Basket counts. Baylor's got eight. Baylor. Not that one to go. Okay, now one for four to start the second half. 32. 30. On the wing, Brian. Pulls up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Elgin Baylor. The officials were right on top of that one. Free throw goes. Second team right. foul. Kobe. Both shots good from the strike. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. And here's Jordan. Pass to Johnson. And they forced the shot clock violation. violation. Great D. So the Kings make it a change here. Kings Rose ball. is checked in. In for the Kings. The Kings leading. Derek Rose. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. They grab their own miss. Yep, that one's good. He's got six. Dave Cowan. They're really working the paint now. The Knicks have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Johnson against Rose. Johnson passes to Pippen. Back to Johnson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Rose. And so he draws the foul. And he's to the line to shoot a pair. Willis Reed. First All right, let's foul. take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the foul. Kings. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Dennis Dennis is shot shot the opposition doesn't the have line, any room to shots. breathe. And following that, the number of second-chance buckets they've tallied has been superb, showing no mercy in hitting the offensive glass. So he picks up just one from the line that time. On offense, here are the Kings. They're on a 12-4 run. On creep, no good. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Johnson passes to Matumbo. Back to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Takes a 13-footer. Rebounded by Gervin. The Kings have gotten five of ten shots to go. Here's Moncrief. The Knicks pull it in. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. 
This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Here's Cowens. And that'll be Sacramento's ball as it goes out of bounds. King's able to keep possession here. King's ball. Kumpo's checked in for the Kings. In for the Kings. Giannis Antetokounmpo. 102 left in the third quarter of the game. Six to shoot. Pass to Rose. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Johnson passes to Pippen. On target from range. Three. Pippen's got his third basket of the night. He can really stroke it from range. You have to keep better tabs on him. King's lead. 36. 34. Rose against Johnson. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Here's Cowens. Ana de Kumpo outside. Fires from 14. Russell with the rebound. Russell's got six rebounds now in the game. Jordan, the pass to Pippen. Johnson on the wing. Over Rose. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. The Kings on top, up two. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four. Next. The Kings. 36. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. Well, All right, sure. a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth quarter. They've got Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Bryant in at the shooting guard position. Paul passes to Baylor, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. The basketball genius of Paul actually finding those chances to set his guys up. Pass to Nakadu. Ball's knocked loose. Bryant with it. Here's Drexler. Here's Frazier. No good with the triple. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. Outside Paul. Pass to Baylor. Russell deciding where to go with it. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. The 15-footer. Russell with the rebound. Russell's got rebound number seven tonight. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Anadokounmpo up top. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. It out to Bryant. Six on the shot clock. Again, the miss by the Kings. New York trailing. Here's Baylor. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent him. And the call is going to be, oh, yes, right. on a legal screen. The screener was First leaning a bit foul. right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, time, out get caught. time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup. Man, and they try to draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. And right, let's check in with Allen the Force. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. 
He really emphasized rim protection. He said to his guys, I want us to cut down on the easy looks inside. No more of that. It's a simple ask that could have a big impact. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Pass to Baylor to tie it up. Hauled in by the Kings. Drexler's got his fourth rebound in this one. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Bryant, the pass to Drexler. And they get it back. And they'll keep possession. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. From the high post. They get it again. Here's Baylor. Here's Pippen. To take the lead. Olajuwon controls the rebound and the putback. Oh, and it's a tie ball game. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as bad as they might be after fighting the tie up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. Ice, ice, ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. Outside Paul. Pass to Olajuwon. Here's Baylor. Covered by Bryant. Keeps it alive. Oh, he hangs in there and that cashes in on the second Baylor. chance points. And finally, after trailing for so long, they throw the score late here in the fourth. And even when time was starting to run short, there was no panic. They kept their focus and went about their business. Paul passes to Baylor. Here's Pippen. Out of bounds, Nick's ball as New York keeps possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come bounds. up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the now, most active the defensive. For your Jordan's New checked in for New York. Now a timeout call Jordan. by New York. Timeout, New York. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense. His ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Jordan finds Paul. Here's Olajuwon. Two minutes away. Yes. Two minutes Paul with the assist that time. And the next lead by two. And you can see why they put him in these spots. He's able to use his size to get the shot he wants. That's just smart basketball. Late in the game, they see a favorable matchup, and they take advantage. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Ball. On to Kumpo, inside. Guarded by Russell. Paul. We got a piece of it. And he's going for the lob. Up high. And down it goes on the lob. The assist. Beautiful setup on the alley. Major. Great catch. Great flush. Pass to Olajuwon. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Bob McAdoo. Second personal foul. And he first cannot get five. the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Hakeem Olajuwon. And he does get the second one. And that gives him a lead. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it was enough to give them a lead. There's a minute 17 left in the fourth. Onoda Kumpo looking it over. To the paint. There's Nakadu. Back to Onoda Kumpo. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by Russell. Pass to Pippen. Here's Olajuwon. Outside Paul. Here's Pippen. Clock at four. Puts it up from the high post. Great positioning on the putback. Bill Russell. And the Knicks lead by three. Now that takes serious Nicely. effort and a light 45. touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Timeout called. Timeout Sacramento. Fast. 
They're trailing by three. There's 38 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? With the time left, I think they've got to be looking for a quick shot here. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Anadokounmpo, and that one's long. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Clock at six. Pass to Olajuwon. Over on it, Akumpo. Ah, nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. And the king has called time here. They're behind by three. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? They should have a play prepared for this scenario. Little time, you need a three. Of course, the D will be guarding the line, but no one said it was going to be easy. It's all about getting a three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. And so the big win by New York in a tight game. They're able to force a winner-take-all game seven. They stave off the elimination, best. and anyone can win this series five. now. And really, they answered the, the call tonight. With their backs against the wall, they fought with passion, and their season continues. That'll do it for this broadcast of the...